Dr. Carlo. I've got a little geography quiz for you. What do the cities of Seattle, Washington, and Miami, Fort Lauderdale have in common? That's right. They're our capital. And we also have guys from there that are studs. We have one guy from Seattle, one guy from Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and both of those guys have been at our beautiful studettes. Perhaps they look familiar because they've been on the show before, but you've forgotten their names. Well, let's get a little refresher course, shall we? <laughs> You look so beachy, Nikki. Oh, this is uh, Nikki Rivas, a 21-year-old student. Give her a big hand. <laughs> Good to see you, Nikki. <laughs> and uh, next to her is Tatiana Ellington, a 22-year-old English student. Welcome, Tatiana. <laughs> and way down at the end is Tressa Mateo, a 21-year-old student. Welcome, Tressa. <laughs> Tressa, Tressa, how long ago were you on the show? Um, long time? It aired last October. Long time ago. Did you did you end up hooking up with the stud on, on that show? Yeah. Yeah? Did you date him after you were off the show? Um, once or twice. But no real schmeckin'. No real so schmeckin'. So you're back to try and get a little schmeckin' going in your life. I'm back. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of guy gives you schmeckin', Tressa? A really active guy. Someone that's kind of headstrong, keep me in my place. Okay. All right. How about you, Tatiana? Did you hook up with a guy? Did you win uh, last time you were here? I thought I won, and we went out once. Just once? Yeah. So no real schmeckin'. No schmeckin'. Okay. Well, what, what are you looking for? You know, great personality, good sense of humor. Okay, good okay. Man. That sounds good. Nikki, yeah. you're almost like the first family of studs. Both your brothers have been on. <laughs> You've been on. Is this your second time? Uh-huh. Second time. Uh, did, you, did you win when you were on the first time? No schmeckin' whatsoever. None at all. Tell me about your perfect guy, Nikki. He's got to be physically fit. That's really important to me, healthy mind. Um, sensitive, yet strong-minded. Knows what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, let's see how strong-minded our two studs are. Let's meet Vic and David. Yeah. Yeah. Vic, how are you? Good to see you, David. Glad to see you. Glad to see you guys here. Right next to me is Vic Stagliano, a 26-year-old bartender from Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yeah. Welcome, Vic. Yeah. Good to have you here. And next to him is David Smith, not his real name, a 23-year-old general contractor <laughs> from Seattle, Washington. Show pretty popular up in Seattle, Dave? Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, good. All right, well, you guys know how this works. The guy with the most hearts at the end of the show is crowned King Stud. You get to go on a fabulous ultimate fantasy date that we'll pay for. All right, Vic Stagliano. Great name. Time. Huh? No, name. really? <laughs> um, well, did you do anything different getting ready for your Studs Across America dates than you normally do on a regular Vic Stagliano date? Actually, no. no? I mean, just, I was a little, I had a lot of anticipation on me because I was thinking about these girls I never met before, you know, where are you going to go with them, where are you going to take them? You, uh -huh. you really don't know. Okay. You know? Well, let's find out, because we're going to find out what they thought when they first saw you, Vic. That first Stagliano moment. And uh, here's what they said. The first lady said, my, 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 this man is one marvelous mountain of muscle. Yeah! <laughs> Second lady said, that hair, those eyes, hey, it's Farrah Fawcett. Oh. And the third lady, oh, yeah. the third lady said, he is so killer gorgeous, he should be registered as a lethal weapon. Yeah. Yeah. He's so killer gorgeous, he should be registered as a lethal weapon. Nikki. Yeah, there you go, right off the bat. Why is he a lethal weapon? Because he's just a hard body. Uh-huh. And you like guys that are yeah, hard I bodies. I really do. Yeah. Why, what he's kind very of... physically fit. Okay, good. All right, well, you get to go again there, Vic. My, my, my. This man is one marvelous mountain of muscle, or that hair, those eyes, hey, it's Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> that hair, those eyes, hey, it's Farrah Fawcett. Oh, I, I think it would be Tatiana. Eh, wrong. No. Oh. What'd you say, Tatiana? I said, my, my, my. The mountain muscle thing going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. a pretty big guy. Yeah, we were boxing, don't you remember? And we were like yeah, you were sparring, him. and I was feeling was him out. She hits like she hits like Seattle slope. I hit so <laughs> hard. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I couldn't believe how hard she was hitting me. This girl was, I said, whoa, slow down a little bit. <laughs> David. Yeah. When you first meet a woman up in Seattle, a lot of women up there, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 There's a couple. Sure. When you first meet them, what, what do you what do you see first? What do you notice first? Well, <clears throat> usually depends on what angle I'm looking at them from, but uh, yeah. I usually I usually look at the butt. Uh huh. Why is that? Well, because she's got a nice butt. Usually the rest of her body's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, we asked the ladies about your barometer of cuteness and uh, what they thought about your looks, Dave. And uh, here's what they told us one lady said, This guy is cocoa butter beautiful. Yeah. Sick 
second lady said one glance at this giant and I started looking for his beanstalk. Yeah! And the, the third lady said he is so hot, you could put a staple in his belly button and call him a cent Mr. Centerfold. <laughs> This guy is Cocoa Butter Beautiful, I would say Nikki. Oh. Oh. What'd you say, Nikki? I said he was so tall, I was looking for his beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like tall guys? If they're um, physically fit? Yeah, but not too tall. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to, like, stick on my on a stool or something. To no, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Who actually said this guy is Cocoa Butter Beautiful? Who is, oh, Tressa. Uh -huh. Why Cocoa Butter Beautiful? Because he's pretty tan for being from Seattle. I mean, don't you... I always thought that it rained a lot there. Uh huh. I think it does, isn't it? <laughs> it's nicer up yeah. there now than it is down here. Cool. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to come back and find out more about our studs and our studettes. What right after this? Don't go away. In addition to having a good butt, there are other barometers of studliness, Vic. Like, if a girl has a good time when she's out with you, that's important, right? Very. So how do you know if you're making sure... How do you, how do you know if you're making your date have fun? Um, I, I would think that because there's moisture in the air. <laughs> Why, if your chest hair is starting to mat down. All right. All right, we asked them if they enjoyed their dates with you, Vic, and here's what they told us. One lady said, there's nothing hotter than a man who gives my chest a workout. <laughs> And the second lady said, one look at his plate, and he was Suck City. Oh. And the third lady said, it was thick, it was sweet, it was the creamiest thing I've ever swallowed. Oh. It was thick, it was sweet, it was the creamiest thing I ever swallowed was Tatiana. Yes, sir. There we oh. go. Um, I, we were at this really cool bar that we both found out that we love when we were having dinner. We said, oh, my God, let's go there. Uh -huh. So um, I got up to go to the ladies' room, and I was talking about this drink and before I went to get up. And I came back from the ladies' room, and he had this drink sitting on the bar. And it's a drink. It's a shot glass, and it has whipped cream on top. And, um, and you have to drink it a certain way. And What's, What certain way do you have to drink it? You have to... <laughs> <laughs> you have to... First, you have to lick off the whipped cream and do it like really slow and then you have to take the shot glass without using your hands and you have to suck it back put it down wow i drank it and he told me i had the best technique he's ever seen <laughs> <laughs> um there's nothing hotter than a man who gives my chest a workout or one look at his plate and he was suck city one look at his plate and he was suck city <laughs> i i would think it was uh nikki no. oh. what'd you say Rita? I said he gave my chest to work out. Really? My chest and my abs. He had me laughing the whole night long. I mean, through dinner, he, we were just, we were talking a lot, and he was telling these stories, and the stories weren't really, come on. Even your brother doesn't buy it, Nikki. <laughs> What'd you guys do on your day? We went out to dinner, and then we went to shoot pool. Ah, she a pretty good uh, pool mistress? <sighs> She's a pool shark. Is she? Yeah. She was hitting every shot. Just shooting it in, I'm like, He's Jesus right, though. God. He was right, though, about when he knows when a girl's having a good time, if it gets, like, hot, it was so hot. Really? And no one else in the pool hall was, like, everyone was, like, really cool, and we're just like... That sounds like it was a lot of fun. It was. Uh -huh. David? Yeah? How about you? What, how, about you how do you know when a woman's having a good time? Well, um... Because <laughs> I'm guessing... She's like, laughing a lot, It know. rains a lot in the winter up if in Seattle. she's Seattle. laughing a lot, you know, I take it. She's having a good time. Uh, we asked the ladies what they remember most about their dates with you, Dave. And uh, here's what they told us. One lady said, this guy gyrates his pelvis like he's making a passion pudding. Oh! Yeah. Second lady said, you gotta love a guy who puts everything he's got on video. Yeah! <laughs> and the third lady said, a few jerks and one big thrust in my head was stuck between his legs. Oh! <laughs> Red hot chili pepper heart, David. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try. The guy gyrates his pelvis like he's making passion pudding, I would say Nikki. Yes. There you yeah. go! Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Now, uh... We know. were dancing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, the, the whole thing is, is we were on the phone and we talked about going dancing, and he, I knew. And I am a dancer, I mean, I love going dancing. It's a, a favorite.
favorite. Anyways, and he's just like, oh, well, I'm not really a, that good of a dancer. You know, I can dance. But he made it sound like he couldn't dance, and he could dance. I mean, he wasn't, like, bouncing off the walls or anything, but he had rhythm. Yeah? Know? I mean, he had good rhythm for a Passion clinic. Guy. All right, well, you get to go again there, Dave. Okay. Uh, you got to love a guy who puts everything he's got on video or Dave. a few jerks and one big thrust and my head was stuck between his legs. Um, I'd say you got to love a guy who puts everything he's got on video, Tatiana. No. Oh. Oh. Well, actually, I said a few jerks and one big thrust, and if he can't remember this was with me, we'll talk later. What were you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I locked my keys. I mean, I left my keys somewhere else, and we had to get into my apartment to get something. And I live on the second story, and I gave him a hoista. And so he said, I only have a few more inches. I have to get up. So I said, OK. And like, I pushed him up, and he was standing on my shoulders. And he got in the window. See, I fight guys down on my shoulders. Look at this. That's strong. So, you are Amazon woman, Tatiana. Woman. So he got one in my window. And, and it was just, you know, just like that. Thrusted him up. Called uh, in. Okay. All right. Uh, Vic! Do you usually get romantic on a first date, Vic? No, not really on a first date. It's kind of tough. Well, maybe if you knew the girl. But you, if you don't know the girl, it's kind of difficult. First blind date's even yeah, harder. Bro, yeah, bro, sure. Yeah. All right, well, we asked him if there was any romance, Vic. You know, you're a guy from out of town, down from Florida, the Sunshine State. That's right. We thought, you know, we thought there might be some romance a little bit. Uh, and we asked him, and here's what they told us. One lady said, he squeezed me like a Florida orange, just right for juicing. <laughs> said, one little flick, and he left a sweet trail dribbling down my cheek. <laughs> and the third lady said, he melted over my body like steaming cheese on macaroni. <laughs> one little flick, and he left a sweet trail dripping down my cheek. I think it was Nikki. Nope. Oh, oh. What'd, you, what'd, what'd you say? What'd you say, Nikki? I said he melted over my body like steaming cheese on macaroni. <laughs> it's because he's so big, and he's so right. There's... He didn't touch me, and it was great. I love that. How could he melt over you if he didn't touch you? He gave me a big hug. He walked me right up to my door and just gave me a hug and said goodnight, and that was it. And it was perfect. And left cheese all over you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. One little flick, and he left a sweet trail dribbling down my cheek. Who that said that? Oh, Tressa. Oh, it's at the end of the day, um, it was really cute. He gave me this cute little like hug, like you said, a cute little hug, and then I... A sweet little kiss on the cheek. Oh. 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 A romantic kiss, Vic, or a friendly kiss, or what? A little of both. You know. uh -huh. Well, if this was the macaroni and cheese date, what, what food group was your date with Tressa? <laughs> Wild rice, I guess. Wild yeah. rice, all right. Nice San moment. Francisco treats. David! Yeah. How about you? Any romance on your dates? Um, I don't know. Romance, maybe a little action, but. <laughs> Well, we asked the ladies about romantic moves. Uh, we didn't ask, you know, we didn't know you went to Vegas and played crafts, but you never know. We asked the ladies, and here's what they told us. One lady said, his lips toured my flesh like a band of army ants. <laughs> Second lady said, he has the most persuasive mouth I've ever tasted. <laughs> and the third lady said, our passion exploded into a journey out of our bodies. Little Robert Monroe action there, David. Yes, um, he has the most persuasive mouth I've ever tasted. I would say, Nikki. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. So you finish, you finish dancing. You're all hot and sweaty at this point, I'm sure. Yeah. We, then what'd you do? So we walked down to the beach and talked for a little bit, and then walked back to the car. Talked. And then talked. at the beach. Yeah, talked. Just talking. Just talking. Okay. <laughs> then back to walking your... and talking. Uh huh. Then what happened? And then we got into the car, and he took me home. And he kissed me. Good kisser? Oh. Yeah, yes, he's a good kisser. But like Pers I said, that's that's not really, uh -huh. you know. You said he has a persuasive mouth. What does that mean? It's I, I usually don't kiss on the first date. But then when he kissed me, I just kind of agreed. Whoa. That's what I meant. <laughs> she didn't fight. She didn't fight. All right. His lips toured my flesh like a band of army ants, or our passion exploded into a journey out of our bodies. Passion explode into a journey out of our bodies. I'm gonna go with Tatiana. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. As you were kissing him, were you floating above, watching yourself kiss him? Uh, basically, yes. Really? Um, <laughs> How did he do that? Oh, uh, we have our ways, don't we? Um, <laughs> no, wait. I'd like to recall that because there was no romance involved. It was just action, spoken oh. like a true Dave. So. Um, well, so you, what, what'd you do, Hunter Dave? We, he actually, 
the whole story is. We went dancing, and um, I told him that I wasn't going to kiss him because I don't usually kiss people on the first date. And I said, I don't kiss people I don't like. And, um, like, insinuating that I wasn't going to kiss him, but I did like him. And I, to me, it was like, it was a, he's a really good kisser, but... And it was an out-of-body thing, but um, I think... Yeah, where does the out-of-body thing because come in? Because you know when you're kissing somebody, if they kiss really good, it's like you almost feel like you're not there, and it was late, and we had been drinking, and so I was kind of tired and stuff, and... Ah. <laughs> I don't know if that's where it comes from. Were you out of your body, Dave? <laughs> um, I was about half and half. Yeah? yeah. Half out-of-body. She had a scree screaming orgasm to drink. And... Oh. <laughs> And nothing gets you out of your body like that. Yeah. Uh, come on back and we'll find out which one of these guys is more likely to play Twister in the nude. Don't go away. Yeah. Hey, all right. All right, ladies, before the show, we asked you to give us some descriptions of the guys, and you did. So now, guys, you just, yeah, have to tell me who the women are talking about, you or your co-star, all right? Vic, we'll start with you. According to the ladies, Vic, who's most likely to telephone his mommy every day, you or David? I would have to say me. Yeah? Okay, he says him. Ladies? Vic. Hey, there you go, Vic. Yeah. Why, Tressa? Because he talked about his mom on his day, and he has a really good relationship with his mom, and he just, I'm sure I'd keep in touch with her. Oh, that's good. All right. Dave, yeah. who's most likely to flex in front of a mirror, you or Vic? I'm going to say Vic. Okay. He says Vic. Ladies? Vic. Vic. There you go. Yeah. Why, Nikki? He's got the body for it. Why not? Uh huh. You ever flex? Yeah, just making sure. No, I don't. You don't flex. No. Vic, uh -huh. who's most likely to flirt with his date's mother? You or Dave? I'd have to say <laughs> Dave. All right. He says it's uh, David. Ladies. Dave. There you go. <laughs> wow. Why, Tatiana? Um, Dave really likes women a lot. Um, oh, yeah. And I think I, I think that he's like gone on a date, but not just like a blind date set up with an older woman before, haven't you? Probably. Yeah. My mom's really good looking, so he'd probably pick up on my mom. But. Well, we'll get her on the show, Tatiana. <laughs> give, her, give her our number. Dave, who's most likely to date two women on the same night? You or Vic? Oh, I'm, I'm going to go with me on that one. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever? Yeah. Oh! oh! He says it's him, ladies. Dave! Oh, And he's he's not in a bad way, but he's been around. You know, he knows. And I mean, if it works, you can go on an early date and then a later date. Time is time, and it's precious. And you know, Dave with his work, he has to fit him in wherever he can oh, get him. Yeah. So. Vic, who's most likely to play Twister in the nude, you or David? I really don't know this guy, but I'm learning about him. So <laughs> I, I actually I actually think it's him. He says he okay. says Dave, ladies. Dave. Yes, you're learning very well. Why, Tressa? <laughs> He's in a fraternity. I can just see him out there with all his frat buddies at a party, <laughs> just like <laughs> getting down, getting all wasted and doing that. <laughs> you ever played Naked Twister? No, I can't say I have. Naked Monopoly? No. Not in the nude. No, not in the nude. It's a great game. Dave? Yeah. Who's most likely to make love on the beach? You or Vic? Vic? They said Vic, did they, ladies? Vic. Vic. Oh, Dave, very nice. <laughs> Why, Nikki? Because he looks like, he just looks like such a California California boy. I told him, I said, if you're just to close your mouth and not say a word, you look like you belong down at the beach. And he, he, he's a romantic, he seems like. He could take a stroll down the beach and kind of start, uh -huh. you know. Have you ever made love on the beach? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right, come on back. Yeah. We'll find out who is the bigger star. Don't go away. from Miami for Love. they has got five hearts. And David Smith from Seattle's got six. Two studs from literally across America, separated by one heart. Gosh, this is exciting. You tell me who you want to go out with again, guys. If she picks you, you get to go, and we pay for it. And because you're trailing by uh, one, Vic, we'll start with you. All right. Um, Tressa was like a more like a friend, friendly date, friendly friend. She was a very nice girl. You know, she seemed tired. She had a long drive. We just did it more like a friendship. Uh -huh. Tatiana was had a wild side to her, but she's she, she was hitting me like I was getting hit by like <laughs> like a horse, man. I'm telling you, whacking me. But I did chose Nikki because we had a good time. <laughs> I'm 
see. And if Mickey picks you, where are you guys gonna go? Cabo San Lucas. Oh. I heard it's great down there. I've never been there and I've heard about it. I would like to go down there. Oh, me? That's right. All right, David. Dave. Yes, you're up. Same deal. Okay. You're in the lead now. I didn't pick Tressa. I had a great time with her. We knew a lot of people, uh, same people. Um, it just, it was kind of my last date and we were kind of tired and things kind of ended early. So she's a nice girl though. Okay. Um, I didn't pick Nikki. Uh, I had a great time with her, but I, I think I must have been a little too aggressive for her. So um, we danced a lot though. Okay. It was fun. Um, so I picked Tatiana. Tatiana! Why Tatiana? Um, cause like we had a pretty wild night. We, 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 we were out for a while and it's first night. We had a lot of energy mm -hmm. and she punch you. <laughs> no, she didn't punch. Oh, no, she might've hit me once I or twice. But... All right. Well, if she picks you now, where are you going to take her? <laughs> uh, I was thinking Tahiti. <laughs> topless, Tatiana, topless. Tahiti. Sounds no. pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right. Trust, uh, neither of the guys picked you, but it was, it was great having you back. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. W would you show us who you picked? Yeah. I picked David. David. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, Vic, you're trailing, and you pick Nikki. Nikki, if you pick Vic, you could be off on a fabulous trip to Cabo San Lucas. Senor. Vic! Yeah. All right. Tatiana, it's all up to you. If you pick Dave, you're going to Tahiti. If not, these two are going to Mexico. What's it going to be? Well, I had a good time with oh, both good. of them. I have to tell you that, and it was... And did you really mind me punching you that much? I didn't think you did. But, um, <laughs> but I have to... I have to you know, duel somebody in a battle of the sarcasm site. So David! Yeah. David, congratulations, yeah. give him a kiss there. Oh, there you are. Have it. Seattle over Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Thanks for watching Studs Across America. See you later, bye. <laughs> Accommodations while in Los Angeles provided by the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, home of the world famous Cinegrill. Accommodations in Seattle were provided by the new Courtyard by Marriott, located in Bellevue, Washington.